Obviously, I show my love through baking, so in many ways, that's like my expression of love to people. Last year, I did chocolate chip cookie cakes in the shape of a heart. That was kind of like my main pre-order thing, and then decorated cookies. I like to do like little avocados that say, you guac my world. Some dinosaurs that say, you're dynamite. I feel like I actually have a pretty wide range, like I've made some <laughs> angry I'm single on Valentine's Day <laughs> cakes in the past. On actual Valentine's Day, I'm pretty much always working. It's a big <laughs> baking day. I would say when I first decided to start dating, I was definitely like really nervous about it. Being someone in a chair, I didn't know what the reaction was gonna be. You know, I had a few bad experiences uh, before I got to the really good one. Um, I had one person say like that they didn't want to meet me in public because they'd be embarrassed being seen with someone in a chair, which was kind of my worst nightmare coming to life. But expectation of what it means to be in a wheelchair is so far from the reality of it. And I think even Juan didn't necessarily know what it was gonna mean. He was definitely nervous about it in the beginning, but once they kind of give me the opportunity to show them, they see that, you know, I go sit skiing and kayaking and play rugby and do all the things that able-bodied people can do just in my own way. And yeah, you just have to give me the chance to show you. Juan is my husband. It's my first year as him being my husband for Valentine's Day, so that feels weird to say. We had our first date at Granville Island. We went for brunch. He ordered his eggs benedict with the eggs scrambled because he was so nervous. <laughs> so that was a little bit weird, but, <laughs> but also endearing. And yeah, it was a great first date. He's definitely got a calm to him that I don't have. So while I'm stressing about 5,000 things, he's the person to say, you know, take a breath. We don't need to panic about this and kind of help bring me back down to earth. Two and a half years after we were dating, we went to Disneyland together and that was where he proposed. I was completely shocked, um, like so shocked to the point that the first thing I said was like, are you serious, is this a joke? <laughs> As he's down on one knee with a ring in front of me, I didn't even believe it. But yeah, obviously I said yes. And then we started planning our wedding. The pandemic hit, so we started postponing our wedding and ended up just getting married this last August. So I made my own wedding cake. A little bit overwhelming for sure. I thought I was gonna do it like well in advance. Lots of things coming up last minute. I kept like pushing the cake and the cookies off till closer to and it ended up being like three days before the wedding that I was doing both and you know 12 hour a day in the kitchen to try and get those things done and 5,000 other things waiting at home to do when I got back but it all came together in the end and somehow it ended up going exactly as I was hoping it would. Now I have this skill that I can use to bring people joy and I get to use it for friends and family as well as customers. And typically sleep is the thing that gets compromised in order to fit everything in. Usually it's if the choices are spend some time with Juan or get eight hours of sleep, I'm always gonna choose spending some time with Juan. I really cherish my relationships and I never wanna make anybody feel like they're not the most important person in my life. So yeah, in not having a lot of time means I'm also not the best about you know preparing a lunch. So when one just shows up out of the blue with food or to come rescue me from a long day, I definitely feel just really grateful and excited to see him. He does really enjoy a sweet treat. <laughs> I think it's been dangerous to have me as his wife for sure. Oh, first try. I feel like for me, love is surrounding yourself with people that allow you to be exactly who you are and feel embraced for being that. You bust a hole in the back already. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a feathering technique on your cookies. Now you're gonna take your skewer and you're gonna put it in the icing and pull straight down. I'm doing all of this fairly quickly because the icing starts to dry pretty fast. You can repeat this step for each of the polka dots and create hearts all over. Wishing you and all of your loved ones a very sweet Valentine's Day from the Stubborn Baker.